Hey, what's up? It's your, it's your bro, Siraj Oxford. In this video, I'm pretty much going to talk about what my my theory video on the final location for the final battle between the forces of man and the White Walkers in the, in the last the season, pretty much the um, final season, season 8 of Game of Thrones. And it's without a doubt, the obvious location is going to be in the God's Eye, located near Heron Hell in the Riverlands. The God's Eye is the most important location in Game of Thrones in general. The first time it's mentioned in the story, in the known history, is it's the location where the first men were able to make a peace pact with the children of the forest. And, and also, it has two major battles between dragon riders. The first is underneath the God's Eye between a duel between Mega the Cruel and his nephew Aegon Prince Aegon and um the second major battle is above the god's eye between Daemon um Targaryen and Amon Targaryen and this the this is is the same thing is similar uncle against nephew and um Pretty much, is is it's, it's, it's obvious that the God's Eye is going to be the final location where, um, either Jon Snow or Danny are going to be the ones who fights the Night's King, on on with the Night's King dead dragon, and it's either going to be Danny and Drogo against the Night's King, and and his dead dragon, or it's going to be Jon Snow on Rhaegar, Rhaegar against the Night King dragon and um Jon Snow obviously is going to be fighting Jon Snow is obviously going to be is most likely he's going to fight the Night King and uh, and the God's Eye near Heron Hell but it could also it could also be like a huge possibility that D Danny is going to be it could also, it could also be like a huge possibility that D Danny is gonna be the one who fights the Night King, due to the fact that, like, the whole show is kind of pushing like some feminist agenda, because they have like um only Cersei and um the Nazi Targaryen as the only um monarchs, and it's weird because, in the books we know there's a fake Aegon and. They pretty much cut him from the show, and they pretty much gave his story plot to Cersei Lannister. So, um, it's going to be a situation where they might actually show Danny being the one fighting the Night King. It could also be in a, another situation where both Jon Snow and Danny um, team up, and they to um, have a fight, have a, uh, a battle against the Night King. But there's a large possibility that it's going to be a one-on-one -on -one fight. And the um the main reason why it's an obvious location is because they even though there have been like um plot leaks, you can't a hundred percent trust the plot leaks uh, for the the um the script and stuff like that. And it's it's like if you're if you're a known book reader, this is it's easy to see this coming, without a doubt. Because like the God's Eye is like just a huge important location in this in the series in general, with the whole um, first man making a pack deal with the children in the forest, the two dragon fight, um, dragon rider battle, and um, is um, and just the location, just a big ass like a lake. So it might be like um. I don't know, it, like this, it, but if if the if the final battle is actually in the God's Eye, it's really bad for Westeros. It just shows you that the Night King is gonna probably take over the North, and he's definitely gonna take out the King's Landing, and then probably the final location and the final battle is gonna be in the Riverlands. And Riverlands is like the most damaged um location in Westeros, um due to the. Like due to the fact of the um War of the Five Kings, it ravaged the Riverlands. So it'd be kind of like more fucked up that the Riverlands will be the final like location for the battle for um for Westeros amongst the living and the dead.
Well, it's been your bro, so Roger Oxford. Um, thanks for checking out um, my, my video. Please give me a like and subscribe. And also check out um, my Twitter account. It's new. I just made a Twitter account. And also take, check out my Facebook page. And it's been your bro, Sir Roger Oxford. Later, and peace out.